Oh, aren't they cute? These retriever puppies have been created with Sora, the AI text-to-video generator that everybody is talking about. No wonder. Just note how realistic the puppy's fur in this video looks. And then compare that to this AI-generated beer commercial from May 2023. It's hard to wrap your head around the fact that generative AI technology could have evolved that quickly in less than a year. Sora was developed by OpenAI, the company that created ChatGPT, and it could soon enable anyone to produce amazing movies with just a few prompts. But what does it mean for you when artificial intelligence can generate videos that look deceivingly real? Is it an AI quantum leap? If you ever played around with video AI on your phone, you know that it often looks quite unrealistic. Now, OpenAI has taken video to the next level. They claim that Sora can create realistic short AI clips. All you need to do is type in a prompt. That means a short description of what you want to see. You could, for example, type in tour of an art gallery with many beautiful works of art in different styles. And Sora might come up with this result. That sounds very easy. In fact, though, some prompts might need to be more specific. The one for this car ride through the mountain, for example, looks like this. Well, that's a bit bulky. Nevertheless, the possibilities are mind-blowing. Just think about the entertainment industry. Special effects scenes that currently require dozens of programmers could be produced by only a handful of people with good prompting skills. Unfortunately, we couldn't try out Sora. Access is strictly limited for now. One of the reasons cited by OpenAI is the danger of so-called deepfakes. They have been around for quite some time already. For example, in the form of deepfake porn. Just recently, fake explicit pictures of Taylor Swift appeared online, but there have been many, mainly female, targets before her. With a little know-how, someone could also easily produce fake nudes of you using photos that are accessible online, maybe from your Insta account? But deepfakes have also been used in political contexts. Remember this one of Donald Trump getting arrested? Their impact on society could be devastating. Deepfakes might make it very difficult for us in the future to decide what's real and what's not and make us vulnerable to all kinds of manipulation. To make sure Sora can't be used for these purposes, OpenAI has strictly limited access to it. At the moment, so-called red teams are testing out if Sora's security functions and restrictions are working correctly. That's important because generative AI systems like Sora or Stable Diffusion and chatbots like ChatGPT need to be very flexible to react to all kinds of prompts. But there might be ways of tricking them into generating content that they're not supposed to. You might remember this case from ChatGPT. A user managed to get the chatbot to give him instructions on how to build a bomb. He told ChatGPT to take on the role of his grandmother and tell him a bedtime story about how she used to build bombs when she was younger. The dangers of generative AI are real. So, what is being done about it? There are already international initiatives. At this year's Munich Security Conference, leading AI developers discussed how elections can be protected from being manipulated by AI-generated content. In Sora's case, OpenAI has announced a rather robust security protocol. They want to watermark content that is produced with Sora in a way that the metadata will reveal that it's AI generated. A text classifier will check and reject prompts that request extreme violence, sexual content, hateful imagery, celebrity likeness or the intellectual property of others. They also say they have developed reliable image classifiers that review every single frame of a generated video before it's shown to the user. Is Sora really that convincing? Well, as spectacular as many examples on Sora's homepage look, OpenAI admits that the program still has some flaws. Compared to AI photo generators, AI video generators have to learn a lot more. They need to know what objects look like but also need to apply the laws of physics and understand how lighting changes in a moving scene. And Sora doesn't get all of that just yet. That's why this guy is running on the treadmill in the wrong direction, or why this chair suddenly comes to life. 
Apart from that, AI still has trouble generating realistic human hands. Just have a look at the woman on the left in the black and white. Nevertheless, if I saw this clip of an elderly man on social media or this drone footage of Italy's Amalfi Coast, I'd probably assume it is real footage. And in regard to deepfakes, that's a problem. What do you think? Are you looking forward to creating your own crazy AI videos soon? Or do you think the risks of generative AI outweigh its benefits? Let us know.